Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. James chapter 1, verse 27. Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for orphans and widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. The question of what genuine faith looks like is one that we meet in both the Old and the New Testaments. The prophet Amos spoke powerfully about the rich people in his society who were so pleased with themselves that they were sure God would reward them in due course. But he told them that, because they had built their wealth through exploiting the poor, God would judge them harshly. They attended the temple regularly, but Amos told them that God would not accept their sacrifices or listen to their worship. In the New Testament, Jesus spoke severely to those who put on a show of their praying and fasting, but lived lives that were far away from God. It was crucial for the early church to know the difference between people who had genuine faith in Christ and those who didn't. James was clear that genuine faith would be expressed in loving action towards the most vulnerable members of the community. In the Old Testament, orphans and widows were often identified as those who were most at risk. Without the benefit of a welfare state, those without parents, a spouse or children to look after them were completely vulnerable. In Isaiah chapter 1 verse 17, God lashed out at the emptiness of the people's worship and commanded them, learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed, defend the cause of orphans, fight for the rights of widows. I wonder who you would consider to be the most vulnerable members of your community. Because of the welfare state, our list may very well be very different from biblical times. It may well vary from community to community. I believe that those who are lonely are particularly vulnerable, and so too are those living in poverty, those in later life, and people who are differently abled. I'm often aware that Many people have been left behind by modern technology and can be totally confused and alienated by it. Whoever we identify as vulnerable, our response to them is the clearest guide to the genuineness of our Christian faith. So let me ask you a question. Who are the most vulnerable members of your own community? And in what way could you reach out to them? Let me pray with you. Loving God, help us to know how to reach out with your love towards the neediest people in our own communities. Amen. Thanks so much for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available on podcasts, which you can, of course, access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Do hope you have a great day.